Hello everyone, welcome to the SQLT channel. In this video, we are going to talk about a problem that deals with limit. Here we have a limit of the nth root of 8 minus 1 over the nth root of 16 minus 1 and we are interested in the case that n goes towards infinity. Let's see how we are going to solve this problem now. So first of all, let's see what we are going to deal with. When n moves toward the infinity, the nth root of 8 is going to be 8 to the power of 1 over n, and then it's going to be 8 to the power of 0, which is basically 1. So here, for the top of this fraction, we have 0, and similarly, for the bottom of this fraction, we also have 0. So we are dealing with the case that we have 0 over 0, and we are going to see how we are going to solve this. Now, the way that I'm going to target and attack this problem is to basically use some identities. Here, I'm going to write 8 as 2 to the power of 3, and I'm going to write 16 as 2 to the power of 4. Now, let's take a look at what I have for this denominator. I have this nth root of 2 to the power of 3 minus 1 to the power of 3. I can rewrite it as the nth root of 2 minus 1 times the nth root of 4 plus the nth root of 2 plus 1. This is based on the fact that a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 can be expanded as a minus b times a squared plus b squared plus ab. For the bottom of this fraction, I'm going to use similar ideas but different identities. I'm going to rewrite this nth root of 2 to the power of 4 minus 1 as the nth root of 2 to the power of 2 minus 1 times the nth root of 2 to the power of 2 plus 1. This is based on the identity that a squared minus b squared can be simplified as a minus b times a plus b. Before moving forward, I'm going to simplify what I have for this denominator a little bit further to be able to remove this nth root of 2 minus 1 from top and bottom of this fraction. Let's reuse the identity that we used before and rewrite this nth root of 4 minus 1 as the nth root of 2 minus 1 times the nth root of 2 plus 1. Interestingly enough, we have this nth root of 2 minus 1 for both denominator and denominator of these fractions. So we can remove that and then what we are going to have is something that is no longer 0 over 0. Now let's take a look at see what we are going to do. We have this nth root of 4, nth root of 2 and we want to replace these values with a value when n moves towards infinity. Obviously, the nth root of a number, a constant number, can be written as that constant number to the power of, let's say, 1 over n, and if n goes towards the infinity, then the power is going to be 0, and then the number, the constant number, which is not a 0 here, to the power of 0 is going to be 1, so we can replace all these values with just 1. Then for the top of this fraction, I have 1 plus 1 plus 1, and then I have 1 plus 1 times 1 plus 1 for the bottom of this fraction, and overall I have 3 over 4 for the final answer. Thanks for watching the video. If you'd like to see more puzzles, math involved activities, and problems from different math competitions and Olympiads, please subscribe to this channel. This is the SQRT channel, and I hope to see you in the next video.